Hi, and welcome to another video in this CS2 coaching series, where pro player Pienix tries to teach me everything it takes to go from utter counter-strike move to carrying so hard my opponents think I'm hacking. This video is part of an ongoing coaching series, so subscribe if you want to learn along with me. And as a bonus to those who subscribe, at 2k subs I'll be giving away the sexy M4A1 skin, so please make sure to have your trade link or Discord username in your YouTube profile. But enough about skins and giveaways, we go to learn today. Okay, uh, usually on City side I'm playing a connector so connector yeah okay that's cool let's see but there is a guy who so kind of plays it sometimes this sometimes doesn't so okay so your cross replacement is slightly off here right when you're picking all these angles like right, right now, for example, you're running with W and A, right? So you want to run across this angle with A if you're picking it, because then you want to counter strafe and press B and actually shoot someone run. You, yeah. you don't want to be like, right now you, you notice you press W and A at the same time. Yeah. You jump across, now you, as you're picking these angles, right? I'll slow it down for you. Right now you have the crosser on the wall, right? So you want to kind of have it on top mid. Okay. And again, uh, you're going to be picking under, I believe. Like this, yeah. right? I, I think you wanted to check under. Yes, I don't yes. know. I want to check. I want to check lowers. Just so, for so you a kind of, yeah. yeah, you don't have your crosser on it at all. So that's what you need to watch out. And now you're running with your crosser like on the ground, kind of on stairs, which you should probably take your knife out and run towards B because it looks like a B rush. Mm. And you do that. So. Yeah, I was just scared maybe there was a lurker A, but usually on pistol rounds, that's not very likely, right? So. Yeah. And now your crosser is fine, but you kind of press shift as you peek around the around the angle. I don't know if you noticed this, but look. You start I, pressing shift. You I pick with shift, right? That. I did not yeah, even realize now, I'm doing that. Now you realize that, right? Yeah. Or no? Or yeah, I not. do, I do. Yes, yes. I, I sometimes... Just this could have been my last shift, you know? My last little shift movement before I was going to just commit. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're pretty stationary, the guy is missing all the bullets, so you just catch at him, so that's nice. Now again, you're like jumping down under without your cross on him. And you're pressing W as you're shooting, and now you're pressing and S. And pressing D, S, S, you're running backwards. S, and coward. pressing D, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you're like a coward. And now you're moving again and shooting and like spraying, right? Oh, what the hell is good with this model? I mean, now you crouched out and started spraying the... Yeah, USP. I don't think I moved, but it was just stupid noob crouch spray, basically. Never a super good idea. Like, with USP, you want to be precise and just go for the headshots. Go for tracking and then precisely shooting at the head. Yeah. Okay, you're buying a UMP... Uh, sorry, not UMP, but an MP9 towards Con, which... How much money do you get? You get 3,500. So don't you think a better idea here is buying like FMS and Kevlar or maybe even M4 and uh, like and, uh, just a, a body, armor. A body Kevlar. Yeah, body armor. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I should do the, the MP9 and do that smoke that goes in the middle of connector's exit that you play behind and kind of watch lowers. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to do that. That's like a good idea. Or if I, I think I do that. You're on the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think I want to do that here, but... Yeah, let's see. The molly ramp. I might have used so my molly is... for palace, my smoke for palace. Uh... There is a slightly better way of using the molly ramp. You can throw it across the firebox here. Um, and it lands faster and basically Deeper. is like a better way to throw the for the molly. Deeper as well, right? Uh, right firebox, now you, you molly it. Uh, which one was that? Can you just throw it back? The, the one you just crossed. The one you just oh, crossed. Oh, okay, okay. The, this one, the box in front of you. Because this molly, you throw it, throw it, you're throwing it on the ledge on the left, right? So they can mm -hmm. still go kind of past it. And they kind of can't. I mean, they actually can't, but they can go like closer to it, you know? Yeah, yeah. The molly that I'm proposing is going to be landing exactly here. So it's going to molly more of this part Basically as well. Of, yeah, ramp. Now you're holding the smoke, although your teammate is in that smoke, right? Didn't as you can see. That. Shit. Yeah, he is. Okay, I see him there, yeah. I mean, they can still go past the smoke if your teammate is in it, right? But I'm just saying, maybe it makes more sense to yeah. to hold ramp in this case. I mean, help your teammate ramp. Yeah. And right now, your teammate, another teammate, is in ramp as well. So, at this point, 
and you just did it, your teammate. Like you literally made it. Did it? Oh, I thought. I and did you it. killed him. Oh wow. my gosh. <laughs> and Senor Buck, I think, naded him as well, by the way, or shot at him. Yeah. For some reason. No. Oh, what the hell is going on here? I mean, now you're looking at ramp where your teammate just was in ramp. Like this guy with the shotgun, he was That's just good. clearing the ramp, yeah. and the other guy solo ace his T spawn going behind ramp. So ramp is completely clear for sure. And now you're clearing Tetris. Like, don't you think that if anybody could be Tetris, he would be already he killing your out teammates? Already. Yeah, or, no. or you would have seen them on the radar. No, he's he's playing a trapdoor spider strategy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of lost my map awareness completely there, um, to the end yeah. of that round. I wonder if this is something that happens when I think we're gonna win. I mean, right you know. now you're standing with your smoke in your hand, in the middle of between Firebox and Con. This is not the best idea, if they're actually running out ramp, they're just gonna kill you here. I think like one right round they, they, do run, they, 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 they run through the fire and they kill me and I wasn't even looking yeah, at they, them. They would literally be killing you right now if they're rushing out ramp, so you gotta watch out just for standing just in between the angles. Is there a smoke I can throw to Palace that isn't so exposed? Or can you show me afterwards? Um, yeah, of course, but yeah. Oh, of course, but you don't need to smoke Palace that early. Okay. That's the point. If anybody's rushing Palace, your teammate Underwood, he will hear the he will hear the steps and he will tell you they're rushing Palace. Plus, nobody can just peek you from wood as as you're crossing towards stairs. Mm, yeah. If they're rushing out, they'll be like slightly later. They cannot kill you when you're crossing here. Makes sense. Okay, so your crosshair placement here is slightly too low. This is not where your head is gonna be. It's gonna be to the right. Okay. If they're walking up here, that's not where the headshot is gonna be. Plus, uh, one question actually: Do you have any plan about how to play con? Um, no, I just, I'm kind of here and I, and I take a few peeks mid, listen and watch lower okay, closely. What, yeah. what, what do you do early round as a con player? What do you think you should be doing? I, I usually help with some utility on A and then if I can save my smoke, I'll throw it in the middle of this. So where I'm looking now to the right, right? I'll make it like smoke pop, yeah. like, so I can look lower, but they can't see me. That's usually what I do most rounds. Okay, well, let's see. Are you holding this angle very stationary? So if the guy is like peeking angle by angle, he will clear you. He will have the peeker's advantage and his crosshair on him. So I'm not going to be surprised if there is a guy with a deagle peeking you from under and killing you with one tap. I think the nade made me move a bit. <laughs> no, I'm not watching lowers anymore. Yeah, you're super unaware of the possibility of the guy running out under. You're kind of panic throwing the nade, right? Yeah. After I was watching it for so long as well. <coughs> and you guys have the bomb, so. But, but you can see how jerky my movement is, and that's just because this is really all new to me, you know? This like kind of way of clearing, so it's not very smooth or precise yeah and i think honestly today we are just gonna focus on the city side because we don't have time yes, to like no, watch 100 percent 100 agree wait what's going on here oh so you also like you just reacted super slow to this guy mm, i believe yeah I didn't, once you I started didn't, uh, moving i kind of relaxed like, as much a, on the end of rounds yeah, as a reaction to him stabbing you started moving and shooting. I mean, you hit the first bullet, so it actually doesn't matter that much, but you're super slow to react for some reason. Well, you guys are gonna win this round anyway, so... Might have been distracted there by someone falling me or something. I mean, again, again, you're throwing this molly, right? On this edge, where yeah. there's like... Less molly towards this side, so if they just go around it, they won't take that much damage. Plus, you're, you're wasting timing to go towards ramp and throw the molly instead of instantly going towards con. Your job mm -hmm. as a con player is to move towards con as fast as possible and be able to help out mid. 
And you also should be throwing above me, uh, throwing a flash above me. Do you know that? Um, yeah, over those palm trees, right? Over the palm trees, over the the tower on the left. So it blinds uh, the top mid player who's running out and trying to pick your window player. Yeah. Uh, so your window player can safely peek towards mid and not be scared of like three guys running out and being posted on him. Okay. So this molly generally should be the job of the a of the A player. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Plus you're throwing it in an inefficient way where you're moving forward towards the angle instead of just throwing it and running across towards stairs instantly. And again, you're exposing yourself to ramp. What if they just run out of the molly? Yeah, no, that's not a good utility set or positioning for that. And you're not helping towards mid at all. I mean, I'm not saying you have to do that, but generally as a con player, if there is like fights mid being taken by your window player and your con uh, short player, you should be helping them. Throwing a smoke bottom con, trying to fight shorts, you know? Yeah. Now only I realize there's a huge fight happening here. <laughs> you can see that in my movement. It's like suddenly like, huh? Yeah. I guess I better help mid. I mean, right now, definitely, you should be like swinging out and refragging yeah, your teammates, sure. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you're yeah. just falling asleep here and holding under when your teammate is dying. But a scout is like an easy kill. Yeah, exactly. I mean, now he has M4 from your teammate. And you're overshooting quite a bit before you actually adjust to him. By overshooting, you mean pulling the trigger too much too early? or? Uh... Yeah, pulling the trigger before you on him with your crosshair, right? Okay. I see. Now you peek out, adjust. Mm. Yeah, and instead of counter strafing, you crouch, right? So you want to get better at counter strafing, not, not not crouching every single time. Crouching cancels the the movement, right? The inaccuracy yeah. of the movement, but but still, you want to be practicing counter strafing more than crouching. Because it's uh, you're way then, less like uh, if, if you keep counter strafing yeah. and running, yeah, you're less like uh, you're basically immobile if you're crouching, and you're easy to hit by the mm -hmm. other guy who who refrags you. And when you're just moving, bursting, then hiding, then moving again, bursting, like that's where you're mobile and you're hard to hit. Less expo less exposed to the shots. Yeah, you're trying to do slow picks here, but you make a step. I do. Yeah. So the guy expects you. Yeah, and he gives mm -hmm. me. This uh, is unlucky. Yeah, it's just unlucky. What did he knew about you? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't make a step, so he turned around. I just struggle with not making a step still with those movements, but I'm trying to do them regardless. Again, you're doing this kind of molly, and you're running towards it with your with your crosser in the wall, right? You have your crosser in the wall, and then you're running W towards the molly. What if he runs and beats the molly? Like, then not you're just running W, right? You can't really counter strafe, you can't really do anything. You should never run at the mollies after you throw them. And again, you're using all your util like towards Palace, where you should be saving your smoke and throwing it here, bottom con, so you can have more angles towards yeah, mid. It's crazy, I actually didn't throw that smoke once so far, and it's like one of my main um, things that I know I'm supposed to be doing here. And again, you're focusing on under super much, which you should not be fighting more than mid. You should be actually helping towards mid more than taking care of under, you know? It's like you're super focused on that angle, you don't care any about anything else. Very slow to react in. Now you're like very slow to react, but in the end you get the kill. And again, you're kind of peeking the angle without actually holding a crosser on it. Right, you're peeking palace right now, you don't have your crosser on mm -hmm. it. There might as well be a guy walking out right now. Now you peek ramp, you're exposed to ramp. Like, I'm pretty sure you don't have information that one is under and three mid. Like, you don't know that. No, no, no. One could be ramp and two could be mid, for example. Yeah. yeah. Again, your crosser is just on the walls instead of... You could have had your crosser on palace here when you're falling back towards jungle, right? Yep. I can just see how bad my crosser is. It's not really a place as people could be. For the most part.
Again, this is a cross replacement. You're running with W and A on the angles instead of picking them with Andy. Now you actually stop with a proper counter strafe, so that's good. Yeah, I think I was surprised how accurate my bullets were there when I actually when I actually <laughs> did it properly. Yeah, yeah. Again, you're running mistakes. towards the angle. Yeah. Th there is no need to be here to two towards A in the start. And look there, they even threw a double molly basically. Yeah. And the yeah, guy the kind of not. Yeah, but you're not aware of where the enemies are. Like, your teammate is getting shot from shot. You could have just peeked with your rifle out and killed them, right? Instead of doing the smoke right now. So see, like, you and you're throwing the smoke and you're looking at the smoke. But you just a second ago, you literally heard this guy shooting your teammate from cat. And you are actually able to, to adjust here. Yeah, because he's bad at you, shooting me. Yeah. But a good player would kill me twice there before I get yeah, to I think you would, yes. This is not how your smoke is supposed to go, right? Do you know that? No, no, I did not know that. I mean, this is an this is an okay smoke, like to maybe uh, kind of mind game with them, but yeah. uh, generally the smoke you want to throw like, like exactly where you're standing right now. Oh, so you can see over the top when you're standing on the ledge behind behind me here. Uh, yeah, on the stairs like or on the ledge. Way. Yes. Yeah. No, not the one way. There's no one ways anymore. Okay, okay. Like it's just giving you more angles, and you you are cutting off the lower angle of mid. And you're walking, uh, holding above the smoke towards short. When we finish, will you, you show the... me how to how to throw that smoke? Um, yes, correctly. yes, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And again, you're here like pressing W and A, and you're stepping right. So the guy is ready for you. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, here, see, you're not ready. And if you would be actually throwing that molly and I would be <laughs> if here, if you would be throwing the molly the same way you have been throwing, you would be like throwing the molly and running towards ramp now, right? And this guy yeah. would have peeked you with your molly in hand. I mean, he still peeks you. I mean, they, they run for the molly, so they're very low. Mm. There's no need to throw that molly there. Yeah, because he can already see everything he wants to from Palace, right? So. Yes, yes. Like he can stand there on that angle, yes. right? And still shoot everyone and see, he wants. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he's at least he's not not gonna go out, but it's not like you need the molly there. Smoke's way more effective, for sure. And you're not aware of palace again, you don't have your crosser on it, although the guy is there, right? See the guy just starts mm -hmm. shooting you. So when you're running around to this A side, you just need to have your crosser either on palace or ramp, right? Or in this case you would rather have your con crosser on even on mid unless your teammates are mid which they are actually in this moment so hmm. yeah, I will go in the server in a moment and show you those things yeah and because I was trying to make a a video or a demo a game for the demo i was trying to be very consistent with my play so i didn't change much about my gameplay but here i do pick mid i think and it works out well yeah, you did pick mid but where but is your wrong. crosser yes you now i'm wide swinging it like it's in the wrong space you have so. your crosser on the wall right mm. i mean you get the kill but this is kind of like panic spray shooting which generally is not gonna bring you a lot of kills so my cross should be way further to the right here, and I should be, yeah. I mean, the thing is, you, you can kind of expect a guy to be already here and then your crosser was fine, but I don't think you were expecting someone to be here. I you just not. you were just rounding the corner with your crosshair. Yeah. So, so it wasn't a cautious, like, you, you weren't thinking like, like this, oh, I expect the guy to be already out here, that's why I put my crosser on the wall here. If it was like that, then it would be fine, right? Yeah, no, for sure. I was just doing the same thing I did here again the second time. Yeah, you're super stationary and missing like half of the bullets. So that's why it's easy for this guy to hit the shot, even though like he's getting shot at and you almost kill him. So the way you should pick, you should position yourself, pick with A and D, counter strafe, adjust with your crosshair and then shot. 
In that case, it's a bit hard because you have to crouch to see him, right? Mm, no, you don't. Oh, is he visible from standing position? Okay. Yeah, of course. If you are peeking on this ladder, you can just peek and stand here. Yeah, you yeah, see I everything. see. You do see everything. Okay. Of course, you can crouch if you want, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's not something you want to do immediately. Mm. And again, you're running towards ramp with your back. Holding palaces here is not the bad idea. I mean, actually, those close range angles are fine with a pistol. You can catch people off guard here. I heard him, um, and then I just completely screwed up by shooting here. This was you heard him drop, right? Panic. Yeah, I didn't drop. So yeah. You should have your crosser like on the right and just peek with A and stop with D and kill them, right? But you're moving forward with W. And now my crosser is off of him and I have to try to reattack. And now you started pressing S as well. You were going back with S right now. See? Yeah. See how you're really falling back? Yeah. Yeah. There. Like walking and pressing S kind of. You started like pressing W, then you saw him and you started walking and pressing S. Like the only buttons you need when you're fighting people is A and D. And then, of course, to adjust the angle or change your position, use W and S. But as you're fighting someone, you only press A and D. You only move left and right. I'm always almost going to need to constantly to consciously almost lift my hand and just have it on A and D, you know, like like lift my finger off the W button when I think I'm gonna fight someone. Mm, have to, like, yeah, I mean that's not have... about the lifting the the hand of the W button. It's just not 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 being aware of what you're using, being aware of what, what buttons you're using. I mean that's kind of the same thing actually, so No, I understand. And you're throwing the snipe right now on this position where where you should have bounced it is inside ramp actually, because if people are rushing out, they're not gonna be going like jumping up here and then yeah. rushing like this, right? Yeah. They're just gonna be running out, so they're gonna pass go past the snipe. So this is not a good way of throwing the nade. Yeah, it's gonna do like five six damage instead of 30, 40. Yeah. Now you're behind them. Actually, it's two v two, so it's a good a good flank you have here. And I'm like, Don't the you hear the guy? Is absolutely nowhere. It's nice to there. Okay, this is nice shots actually. Yeah. Like this is actually good. You were kind of I, I the thing I like actually about this round that you were calm, you know. You didn't start panic spraying or and anything. And moving like that. and moving. Yeah. I mean you were moving, but. <laughs> okay, that the fire slowing me down and I'm using my smoke. You're just yeah. you're using dumping all your util too early, and then you don't have util to cut off angles here in con. Is it only the lower smoke that you need, or is there any other smoke you need in con? The lower smoke, yes. Yeah, just that one. Okay. I mean, again, here you're picking the angle with your crosser on the wall, and then you're adjusting it as you already picked the angle. Look. So this is how you pick the angle. And then you're already out into the angle, and you're adjusting your crosshair to the... It's not like you consciously said, oh, I'm going to pick this exact spot on cat, because oh, yeah. I think the guy is there, right? No, you just were... you wanted to pick mid, like, in general. And you had your crosser on the wall yeah. because you, you were just rounding a corner with your crosser if a guy was, it. If a guy was on cat, I would most likely swing past him up to here and then yeah. only readjust. Yeah, Yeah. see, that that's what I meant. That you would you would have sw swung anyways. Swung past him, yeah. And he, here you're just overshooting, which is basically you're shooting too quickly before you're actually stopped. And before you're actually on the guy with your crosser. So you have two issues there. One is movement, second is your adjustment of the crosser before actually shooting the guy. And that's where the drills will help, I guess. Yeah. Well, do you see where you're aiming? Yeah, at, at someone's kneecaps. Yep. You should know that he's there, right? Yeah, I do. I do. I think I do. Okay. Well, that's a nice try with the nade. Okay, let's see the last round of the CD side, and then I'll hop onto the server. So yeah, I don't have to throw this fire. Oh, oh, this happens. Almost. You almost die. Oh, no, you die. Oh, no, you don't die. But they're shooting at you. Yeah. I mean, this works out for you, but you were so unaware of them pushing out through ramp, right? 
and also because it's low rank players, so they miss their shots. I'm not completely they, exposed. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I think also they run through your, all of your util instead of like smoking the molly properly. I think yeah. they smoked it like late and they took damage, so. My guy is standing there. But... Oh no, that's the enemy, sorry. I mean, uh, you know he's in, he's in palace. So. Yeah, yeah, palace. Yeah, okay. Let me hop onto the server and show you a couple things about Con. Okay, so first of all, as a Con player on these full buy rounds, right? You are not responsible for defending A that much, as much as you're responsible for helping mid in the early round. So this Molotov, by the way, where you aim above this window up yeah. to the tower and run forward, this should be thrown by the A player most of the time, yeah? Okay. Not by you, not by the con player, but you can, you guys can swap around, so this is the lineup, right? Okay, just by basically aiming at the top of the roof and then running, throwing. I mean above this window, like here. Oh. So this is the mode that you should be throwing, yeah. and uh, the A player should be throwing this most of the runs, and you should be throwing a flash towards top mid, which you never threw, like this, which Great is gonna blind throw. anyone, yeah, anyone who's trying to pick your window player. So you should generally start the run by throwing that flash, or if your A player asks you, can you molly ramp for me, I'll flash, then you can do that. But mm -hmm. if your A player doesn't say anything, you should not molly ramp. You should just gonna flash like this, and you're just gonna press A and like jump across with A. You're not gonna run towards ramp ever, okay? okay? You're just gonna jump across. If you want, you can do another flash for yourself and peek here, right towards top mid. Uh, the smoke that I was I was saying you should be using is just bouncing off a smoke like lower towards bottom cone, and then playing any angle above the smoke. So you're basically holding cut like that, or you're holding from this uh, little box here. Yeah, while still being able or, to kill people who push through the smoke, because you're going to be able to adjust. Yeah, yeah, or you look towards Anders from here. Okay, you can see their heads coming out with that. Yeah. Depends where they stand, but yeah, you can. Okay. And depends how the smoke pops. Also, if you use the smoke a lot, right, later on, you can throw it like slightly deeper like this and kind of play around it and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, have some other angles for yourself. I mean, maybe not like that, actually. Yeah. But if you use the smoke like slightly deeper, like you can go behind it later on and peek towards under. Unders, yeah. And then you can go on top of it also if you want to. You can go to the left of it and have some angles. You can play around this smoke. That's basically what you should be doing. Now also what you need to understand is that you need to look towards the window player and if he's playing window and he doesn't see anything, then you don't need to use your smoke. Like if your window player sees nothing mid, right? Mm -hmm. Then you should not be wasting your smoke. You can actually use a flash like that to pick under on a good timing. You just throw it okay, against that little ledge here. Yeah. And just run. Go back to okay. Yeah. So if anyone's like peeking under or running up under, you're gonna get blinded. Mm. And, and you now, think it's a good what... it's a good uh, a strat to generally check unders if you if you see no one mid, because that's where they yeah, yeah. could be. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's a good strat to check under as a con player, yes. But you want to be like aware that they expect this, kind of. Also, the window player can flash for you, like this. If yeah. you ask him. But that's more advanced team play mechanic. Well, now, if you don't use your smoke and there is nobody mid, right? You can easily come back to A, and then you have to watch out for Palace. And you can smoke of palace from here, like looking at this, this second wooden part. And then you, you can pick if everybody comes out of the smoke, and then you can pick from stairs towards ramp. You have to watch out for that because people are holding this a lot of times. You can crouch at the end of stairs and just stand up and peek as well if you want to. Or you can like white pick this, right? Without making a step. Okay. So yeah, so that's what you can do, be doing to help the A player. I recently, one of my students showed me this smoke that you can do 
if you're getting pushed towards A and you want to help your A player. If there is like execute A coming in. Okay. And and, you, and you, you're scared of just getting shot as soon as you go up the stairs. I mean, the, 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 thing I'm, the thing I'm saying here, if people like cut you off like this, and then you, you're in a retake scenario and you still have your smoke after these smokes, right? You can use that smoke. Okay. Oh, they might not kind expect of... that, that you can see them from here then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like a one-way actually, but I don't know how people come up with this, but this is a kind of a one-way. Yeah, so you can throw that smoke, like you can throw that smoke later than, like a bit later than their smoke pops, and then this smoke is still gonna be up as the, as their smoke fades, and you are peeking into it, right? So let's say they throw a smoke stairs, right? The, the smoke is coming, right? Like it's coming, it's popping, right? The smoke yeah. popped, you got cut off, and then slightly later, a second ago, you're throwing your smoke, right? Oh, yes. So, the, yes, so yeah. their smoke, it, it will fade in a second. Like, you're just waiting for it to fade, right? You can obviously be spamming through it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're waiting for their smoke to fade. It's gonna, in a second, it's gonna fade. But your smoke is still up, right? Yeah. So, oof, what the fuck? And obviously, this one didn't land as the other ones didn't. This one was a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But... But, but, but I get it, and then they're gonna think, oh, one of my teammates maybe just re-smoked it, the smoke's still going, I kind of don't have to check that so carefully, and then... Yeah, 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 exactly. Out. I mean, the other things you can do when you're getting cut off, because this is gonna happen on higher yeah, levels... It happens to you, me already, yeah, sometimes. You can just throw a flash above and peek, right? In the middle, you need to find a good timing as well when they're actually fighting your A player. Or you can just right-click a smoke in front, throw a flash with double-click in front of you, on peak, and you create more angles for yourself with the smoke here. Okay. See? So you yeah. just right, right take a smoke in here. Mm, you can also do something like this where you stairs, and they, they do the smokes, and in a good timing, also, as they're occupied with fighting your teammate, you just flash like this, and then you push through the stairs smoke over here. So this, like, if there's a smoke here, like, the, the flash will pop through the smoke till they don't see it, right? Yeah. It just comes out of the smoke and pops. Yeah. So that's the options available to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, do you what do you play? Yeah. What, what do you play if you are um, forced to buy MP9? What oh, if you're forced you to buy, to play? I mean, you yeah. should not be playing MP9 as a con player, but you can, for example, push mid if you're forced to buy MP9. So you can just go through window, take your flash out, and just flash like this. Turn around and push towards top mid here. Okay. Try to get a kill. But in general, I should rather be playing something like a deagle um, and trying to maybe D people in. You, you can or... play close A then, you know? You can decide to play A instead of playing con and you oh. ask someone to play con. Okay. Or you just leave con that round. So you can do the molly, then you can do the deep nade of the wall here, and you can play like close angle with the MP9, you know? Okay. Because and usually, if, if I'm on MP9, it, it, it might be a bit of a gamble for the team, anyways, because we're not all full by. So, you yeah, can... you can play on kind of these angles. You can get up towards top wood. So, you, um, I mean, you can even push Palace if you want to. You can jump on top of here, bounce a flash, and then you're peeking, right? Yeah, like but that. that that needs to be very coordinated. That needs to be like actually impeccable. Otherwise, you're gonna lose the timing or you're gonna fuck up the flash. Uh, you can also like just come up here, like retail I shift up, of course do some utility towards ramp, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go up here, you do the smoke like this. And then you go into the smoke and you stand in the smoke. Uh, the reason you want to stand in the smoke because the way you bounce the smoke, the way I just showed it, right? It's bouncing a couple times, so the T, so you go up the ladder like a couple times, so like... And you bounce it off the A sign. So it bounces like a couple times. So the guy who's in Palace, he thinks the smoke came from stairs. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, that, that's the stair smoke that comes at that angle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then you can stand in the smoke and surprise them when you have shit utility. Or you can just smoke it and hold it, you know? Mm -hmm. Who cares? And then after the smoke, you can peek it and try to get a peek. Okay, that's cool. So, so you know... 
Any other yeah, questions? There's no, there's no long range smokes or anything I need from connector. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's just basically that one smoke that that you need yeah. to know. Yeah, you need to throw that bottom smoke. You can throw it in many ways. You can right click it. Mm -hmm. You can bounce it off the wall. Yeah. Right? Oh, I fucked it up. Bounce it off the wall. Bounce it off these little things, I believe. Oh no, that's gonna mess you. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Nope, it does mess you up. It's a bit too low. Yeah. It still gives you angles towards cap. You can just play it backwards to cap, yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's cool. So, next time we can do the T round, I guess.